once again, uh, I've now not, I, there's not a single purchase I've made in my life that I've been less satisfied with than my internet service. Hi. Hi, we've already had uh, one rip. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. He's in a real good mood. I'm in a great mood. As of 40 seconds ago, <laughs> when the stream died. Uh, he hit go live, and then it said, nope. Yeah. Uh, howdy, 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 Hello, this is Jog. Fern, what's up, man? Um, make sure to email me, because uh, I'm going to want that artwork, buddy. And of course, uh, you may recognize this is the, the original soundtrack to oh, you did? Kira Good. Kurosawa's Thank you. Seven Samurai. I'll check it when I get home, and I will rough like to you. Boom! Can side business. We're doing side business. Conducting some commerce. <laughs> Hi. Here we are. Hello. Remember this guy? <laughs> He's the eighth samurai. <laughs> uh, let's fix this just on the fly because that's how we do stuff. He looks so sad. I know. And if you didn't know how. Because he got left behind. He's like the. He's, yeah. He's, the he's like uh, he's like the it's truffle the shuffle the kid. Mr. Mercantile. Mr. Mercantile had a touch. Uh, gosh, just, just, you know, just to, just to have the next, the, the last three seconds or 15 seconds that we talk about the pawnbroker also be riddled with jokes for no reason. Gosh darn it. I mean, I laughed a lot yeah. during the movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Let's change it to something much more colorful. I think we should use the Dog Day Afternoon one. <laughs> for everything? For everything. This is, that, should just be, that should just pop up on screen whenever the <laughs> internet dies. There we go. Look at these badasses. Oh, man. Now, who has seen Seven Samurai before or watched it for the stream? Who has seen this wonderful movie? Oi, give oi, us a oi. one. Give us a one if you've seen you've it before. You've seen it, Artifact. Yeah, yeah. Seen it, but it's been a hot minute. It's been a hot. Yeah, minute. it had been a long time for me too. It's also not a casual endeavor because it's yeah. like four hours long. You say Ichi, Ichi Ichimoji, Ichimoji. Ooh, ooh, you had to pack a lunch. Yeah, right. <laughs> Does it? It has an intermission, right? It certainly does. Yeah. It certainly, it certainly does. Ichi means one in Nihongo. That's true. Ichi oh. ni san yongo roku shichi hashi. Wow. Yeah, man. I took a little correspondence course between yesterday oh, and today. Right. No, I didn't. No, I. Uh, I what were you teaching? Oh, I was teaching uh, English to Chinese children. Yeah. Did you pick any Chinese up along no. the way? You were like, you speak my language. Yeah. Yeah. And then I was like, and I got fired. <laughs> That's Straight. usually how that goes. Yep. Oh, hey. Hello? No. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys a, a hot little update about my adventures with Sekiro. Uh, so here's the deal. I beat Ishin after five hours. Spread out five hours on the last night, but spread out over three days. So it, it it took me three nights to do it. And on the third night when I did it, I <laughs> I spent three hours. I, fi I finally got really close. I managed to do a lightning strike reversal, which was amazing. And it was the first time I did it, and it actually took him down to his final death blow marker. And I, it was, but because it was the first time I had ever done a lightning reversal, and I was already so tense from adrenaline that I was shaking, that, and then I saw the death blow marker, but I was far enough away from him, and I was so confused because I couldn't believe I did it. And then I had never done that lightning move, so I thought I had still been hit. And so, anyways. <laughs> This is the greatest story Any, I've ever heard. Anyways, he 
he gets by the time i got over to him i ran towards him when i realized what was happening and i ran i sprinted across the field i got right up to him and by the time i got to him he had stood back up and he oh that's good because i was like it he takes just, a while but you were way way back i was way back yeah about as far as you can within like the, the, the radius yeah, of the lightning yeah, yeah, yeah. and then no joke i freaked out because i was so ran ramped up and i was like shaking and then it did it and you know i was so used to getting struck by lightning and then just having a huge amount of health i thought that's just what happened again and then i had to put it together that i had reversed it because it was the first time that had ever happened for me yeah in that fight and then and i just blew it i blew it i completely blew it and but, he I, he got by the time i got right up to him right as i'm about to slash him <laughs> he just went Shoo! <laughs> and I died, and I had to take five minutes by myself at like three in the morning. Five minutes? I think I would have. <laughs> I think that would have been like, uh, yeah. I I screamed into a pillow. Uh, I gathered myself up. I debated whether or not this entire game was worth <laughs> it. Whether I if because by that point it had been three hours. It was three a.m. and I was like, I'm not gonna do this. And I was like, I don't want to spend another night on this. Yeah. I, know. I, I can't. You get to that point, you're like, this is not. It's not you acceptable. You're not taking this. From <laughs> yeah. Me. You're not taking another night of my life. And so for me, I just like that was it. That was my shot. And <laughs> exactly in blood. <laughs> you know what they say about hesitation? I don't want to hear it anymore. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so when it was sold on the belongings because it moved to last year, kind of crab boat. Which I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, but it's so amazing. Oh, now keep going. It was brutal. And so, and he sold his PlayStation, <laughs> and now he's much happier. <laughs> I. Picked myself back up, and I, uh, and after about ten minutes, I I, I started again because I there's just no option. I, I really I, I did all this mental stuff in my head. It took me about fifteen minutes to pick the controller back up because I had to go through the mental process of being like, do I want to continue this? Yeah. And how like, is it gonna gonna happen? Like, am I gonna be able to do it tonight? Because if I can't do it tonight, do I really want to spend another night on this? <laughs> All these things, like I was having an internal debate with myself in the middle of the night by myself in my living room with no one around at yeah. three in the morning. I decided to just continue just to see. And of course that thing happens where for the first five, next five playthroughs, can't I can't get through Genichi. Uh, Genichi. I cannot get through them, which is only adding more fuel wow. to my rage. Wow. And so it took me another two hours to, to yeah. finally beat him that's and the so entire weird. time every time i died there's that eight seconds where it's loading again yeah and every time i died all i could see was the pull like i would close my eyes it was that pulsing red dot that i had missed that death Seriously? Load. i just all it's all it was yeah. burned into my brain was him kneeled on the ground with the dot yeah. and i'm like i didn't get it i can't believe i didn't get it that was my shot and i just didn't do it and it was just taunting me the whole time and i really it it was not a fun two hours. <laughs> and then, but what was interesting- To get that close to your dream <laughs> and not reach it, that would, that would kill most men. <laughs> I, I was broken <laughs> because after an hour, I was like, I can't believe it. I, I'm not gonna do it. And then, and I was at such a low that I, I really did have a moment. <laughs> this is so stupid, but like I had a moment of clarity where I was like, oh, this is what this game is trying to, it's like, I'm gonna beat you down so much that you really do you you thought you're at your lowest here's the real low yeah now now do you want to continue yeah and beat him because yes. you're close yeah or do you want to just stop now he's the stern father to us all yes he's behind there going this is for your own good. yeah <laughs> and, and it's, I'll be there and I have to say I when I finally beat him, I was like, it's kind of cool that that happened to me. It is incredibly cool. Because it, it felt so that's, sad. I felt like I really most, earned it. Uh, 100%. Yeah. Because you did it, and then you did it yeah. again. Absolutely. Absolutely. Woo! This game is a lesson on humility. Are you there, or something. Please, <laughs> 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 It's incomplete. It yeah. is a lesson on humility. It really is. And it's just, you just kind of go like, it's it's because like, well, God willing, it's the closest that any of us will really get to like, where you just go like you have to go, and then you have to dig deeper it's that like, rocky it's like, thing yeah it like, really is i'm never gonna win an nba championship <laughs> i mean never never say never but it's like 
but but like it, Akashi just comes up here and it, you're in the middle of it and you're just your head your head is in your hands you're just like I'm never gonna win an NBA championship <laughs> you know She's like I'll come back mm, in a few months when uh, that's what these games do now play one live for us so we can sump on your sorrow so you might have a little treat at the end of this uh, you might you might you, if, maybe not maybe, maybe you will maybe you're not. But, and then, so, here's where I'm at now. Oh, go, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So, I beat him. That was great. And now I'm going to, I, I went back. I had not, I I'd skipped all the headless monsters. I went back and I beat all those. Which is something we have not done at all. And I have to say, I had watched so many playthroughs of, like, how to beat headless. And by then, I, I was just... I don't know if it was because I beat Ishin and he gave me an, a, more vitality or whatever, but like I foregoed all the the oh. strategies and I just put some divine confetti in and just started hacking away. Yeah, man. And it worked. Yeah, we and I beat all of the head like all four in an hour. Like That's awesome. I just flew through. How them. did you have that much confetti? Because I had a lot of money. Oh, okay. And then you can just buy them from the guy at the That's dilapidated what, temple. We, I started going after. Hmm, that's interesting. I started going after him, uh, and then, like, uh, we got... I got the underwater one. Those are Z bitches. Ugh, those are way... Those oh, but are, those, oh, but they're, they got way less health. And you just, yeah, like, but still, I was just like... Because like, like, what I did, I got the one with the carp where there's two of them. Yeah. Which is like a ghosty one and yeah. whatever. That was so, the hardest one for me. Huh, oh, that's yeah. interesting. Well, I, so I got those guys, and then, and then I think we got... I think we got... Yeah, I think we got another one that was by the cave that you get to. Like, you go underwater and come up. Yes. Yeah, so I got... I think I got that Oh, guy. so you got two of them. Two so of them. You only have two more. Yeah, but I was like... Uh, someone says there's five. Are there there's five? Another, I, there's another... There's another underwater one. Well, I read that there were five, but the, the, then I read that there were... And then someone said it was actually the five because there's the ghost one oh. in, under the lake is that true or is there a fifth one? Oh, that makes sense yeah one in a cave i think i thought i got the one in a cave i don't think we left him un, un unkilled unkilted we i think we i think we killed the one in the cave and we got the two underwater but i just kind of was like out of, out of confetti and i was like i'm not gonna do this i thought i thought we got the cave but i also remember running out of confetti but you should be at a point where you can just go buy it. I can. I just don't. I don't really have money. Do you know where to get money? Real quick. You mean farming money? Mm -hmm. Where? Uh, you're at the point now. So you go to the Ashina outskirts uh, sta stairways, and you can essentially death blow like guys with a lot of XP, and a, and they give you. You can basically get a thousand coins per. Per uh, run, per per run, which is about three minutes, and that's what we were doing because I was farming. Uh, I was going to God, I can't even remember the name of the place. I haven't played, I haven't played it in a while now, and I, I if I think about it, I go, oh, oh, sad that I don't have reason to play. I do have reason to play. There are two bosses still out there. there are two bosses still out there. Um, but uh, I would go to the place with the the suckers who enfeeble you. I hate those guys. They suck. They suck. They suck. But we, we, we gathered up a lot of... I can't even remember what... Oh, we got that to buy the mask. That's what we did last time. Farming nobles in Fountainhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got the mask. That farm spot is the one you used. Good one. It's a ton of skill and money very quick. Well, cool. I'll try that next time. Cause like, because because the, other, the, cause the thing with that one is is like... I'd, I'd never used a sugar, ever, the entire game. I know. And then like someone was like, use a sugar, you'll be invisible to those enfeebling guys. But it didn't matter... Well, it, I mean, it. I guess it did, but like you can't stand up and run. I was like, if it's invisible sugar, it should work when I'm walking. Uh, but but whatever. I would because several times I tried to run through and I'd build up stuff, and then someone would be like, from downtown, you're an old bastard, and I'd be like, you motherfucker. They would babality me, except opposite babality me, and I would, and then and then and then you're just sitting there going like, mm -hmm. oh, it's and then crazy. Goes, the goes, yeah, <laughs> crack, or whatever he does, and bones you in the mouth, you little bastard. Anyway, that should be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I want to, I want to, I want to know that place. Um, okay. Well. Uh, oh, and I'm so now I'm at. I have one boss left. Oh yeah, have, so he's got. I'm at demon of, of hatred. And how uh, how long did you fight him? 
I only fought him five times last night for the very first time, and I got destroyed. Yeah, he's he's a, he's a mother for a while. I haven't like researched him at all. I just tried to do it, and, and you haven't got you, you haven't seen different phases or anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nothing at all. Um, I'm gonna research it. him, figure out you know. That's what he's, you. Yeah. I heard he was like a, a. The only thing I heard was that he was like more of a Dark Souls type boss, where dodging might be more effective. It but is you're a, telling me that you can parry. It's effective. It's, and then that's what we were kind of, because I was saying, I'll call him a Bloodborne boss for a long time. But then but then someone made the point, and it, it is. And, and then once I found out how to fight him, I was like, okay, it is. It's both. It's it's he's, He looks like a Bloodborne boss. You dodge him kind of like a Bloodborne boss, but you also secudo some stuff in there. Because it, it does change the game when you start. It's, and it's so funny because like after like after playing the game for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, uh, you know, you, I see a new dude, and I go, well, "This guy's a different kind of guy. There's no way I can, I can, I can deflect him." Yeah, every and it's time. always like, it's always like, you know, an hour and a half in, I go, "I'll try." Oh, I can deflect yeah. that, and I go, "I should deflect." And it's so funny because that's what's so crazy to me because I went into it being like, "He looks crazy intimidating," yeah. but I know that's how it always is with anyone. Yep. And then I, I went and I tried to parry him, and I just kept getting stomped on yeah. repeatedly. So I guess I'm just doing it wrong. <clears throat> Did you fight? Yeah, right. Double monkey, headless ape, and his wife or yeah. whoever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I, I I've gotten everybody. <clears throat> Jeff I, Jeff told me the demon secret, so he knows. <clears throat> I do know that. Yeah. Jeff which also, is uh, which also, is awesome and like it is tragic awesome. and beautiful, yeah. and I couldn't believe that it's not just baked into the story. Yeah. So you just like really, it's very clear, like in a cinematic. He should that be that the final boss. I feel like he should be the fight. Like he'd be more satisfying. Yeah, I, I, I would rather like go toe to toe with like a sword the fight sculptor with him? for hours and hours and hours and hours. What if he? What if it was a sword fight with him and he still just has the one arm and he's, and he's just that good? What? Well, yeah, going, <laughs> but he should. And then he should have every single prosthetic weapon. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, that's That'd be great. So that's great. Secret technique tied into defeating him. Do you know the secret technique tied into defeating him? Uh, in in Demon of Hatred. No, I know nothing. I haven't researched them at all. I do know the the story reveal though. Wait, what are you talking about, Fern? Are you talking about something that I didn't find? By the way, wait. The secret technique is patience. Patience. Yeah. All I need is a little patience. If you use the finger whistle that belongs to his former partner, it stuns him. Oh, the malcontent. Someone mentioned the music box, and I thought they were. I thought it was a total joke. Wow, it could be DLC. I feel like they're gonna give us one of those memory bells to go to the sculptor's memories. That's cool. He remembers her. Oh, it's like his wife or something. I forgot what this. What the finger is. He's a beast. Works on beasts. Yeah. That's why we said it was a spoiler. Oh. Interesting. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, because the way I got spoiled was someone said something. Someone said something, and then someone tagged it, like, cleared it, and, like, got rid of the meshes as a spoiler, which made me look at it again and think about what it was again, and then I was like, oh, he's the sculptor. So yeah. Because I, I looked up where I, I thought I did, did, did something wrong, because yeah. when I went back to the dilapidated temple, he was gone. Yeah. And I thought I, like, really screwed up something. Yeah. And so I looked up. I was like, where'd he go? And then... He, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. His partner ninja was a female named Kingfisher. Remember when we met that female ninja named Kingfisher? No, that's not in the game. What? Where does this come from? She got eaten by the ape. Okay. Oh, I have the flame umbrella. Okay. The sword in the ape's neck is presumably hers. Ah. Ah. That's cool. That's oh, a that's big cool. sword. That's a huge sword. That's a sword for a huge monkey. Yeah. Like it fit very appropriately. Size proportionally in his hand yeah read uh, item descriptions yeah the the most effective way to to tell a, to story. Tell a story yeah <laughs> did, you, did you read the pellet description yeah that's like if you went to see a movie and then some and i was someone's like i didn't i didn't get it it was just a bunch it was a person and then they met another person and then they, they killed each other at the end and nothing made any sense they go did well when you bought popcorn did you yeah. read the the information like the the health instructions the the the, the ingredients did, did you, you read all of them look when you went outside and you picked up that ceramic shard yeah. did you read about it did you read the every single time yeah 
because that's that's the story. No, it's Idiot. a great it's a great story. Okay. If you don't like getting your lore and disjointed piecemeal, these games aren't for you. No, I I can appreciate it. I don't. I just don't care. Like I like the the yeah. the core story. I I got the beats of it. Yeah. It was very satisfying. I still think it's one of the best games I've ever played, just because it it's so darn fun. It's freaking incredible. It's incredible, and the story is great. I love the story. Um, I just like my stories usually told in a more Last of Us type fashion. You just like stories. I like stories. Yeah. <laughs> told in a narrative way. Yeah. yeah. Here it comes. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Thing is, core story. The core story is far less obvious in Bloodborne. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I heard. Agreed. You kind of have to read that stuff. Yep, yep, yep. If you, I don't like to read. Yeah, <laughs> first and foremost. Yeah, because I did the like. Sekiro is much more direct. I absolutely. did the super legit version of Sekiro, where like everything's in Japanese, not yeah. only the dialogue, but like. But for the but, menus are very confusing. But for, for NG Plus, we're gonna do English. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So it'll be like, yeah, Sekiro. I don't think so, I, buddy. I haven't heard any of it. I'm very curious to know <laughs> if it's terrible or it's not. It's me, Ishin. I'm Ishin to give you a whipping. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, buddy. Come on, pal. They're like, oh, they like altered the dialogue, made it <laughs> far more American. Uh, the dub is not good. Yeah. Hey, hey, let's let's talk about this so that yeah. we can maybe get to some sec. You know. Let's do so, it. So here we go. 1954, Akira Kurosawa and the Seven Samurai, or Seven Samurai, not the Seven Samurai. Yes. Um, let's Th talk about it. This one kind of. Carson with the straw, oh my goodness gracious. Whoa. Sir, you are being invaded. Uh, 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 Mercy and read. Thank you for the 27 months. How are you, my friend? You literally show up just in time for the actual discussion. Yes. Yes, you did. Yup. Did we just become best friends? Yup. <laughs> uh, yo, Booch Ticky Ticky, thank you for the follow. Follow Larry B, thank you for the follow. Way to way to maintain your anonymity on the internet, Larry B. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate it. No thanks, guys. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, Carson. I was talking to Carson Drew uh, today. About Crusoe, about oh. Seven Samurai, because I popped into his stream. He's an incredible artist. By the way, guys, cool. oh yeah, this dude, unbelievable. So uh, he he actually, and he also did the uh, little sub icons. I don't know if you ever noticed. There's a bunch of cra I do crap them. happening on the screen. Yeah. So we've got these. So uh, the gold after two years, gold, go, gold cop. After two years, you're a gold bro cop. Gold bro uh, cop. Let's see if nice. someone. Let's see if we can get. So this is uh, at 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 uh, at one year you become silver bro cop. Ro silver yeah, bro cop. Low, low bro cop. Yeah. We, we, let's just say it's 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 parody, so it's totally covered. Uh, I, that's what I said. Fair use. Nope. I got some lawyers that I <laughs> no no no. <laughs> uh, then this is like a few months in, it becomes, you know, it, it, he's he's been so first it's normal. Where is oh cool wow this is this is pretty. If I can find a normal one, if I can find a normal one. Someone sub. <laughs> uh, no, there's, there's one that's me without getting beat up, and then there's oh, me cool. getting beat up, oh, and cool. then there's we can rebuild him. Oh, that's awesome. And then there's those really look like you. Broke up. Thanks. Yeah, this is Carson drew it, man. Whiskey Jam, Douglas SPV, and Meg. Thank you for the follows. Carson threw it on the ground. Threw it on the ground. I'm an adult, guys. Follow Carson Druid if you're not. All of you, all of you came from Carson Druid, so uh, you are following him. Either way, throw that raid back at him. Yeah, boom. Yep, that's not how I want to do that. But if for some reason uh, you were here and didn't come from Carson Druid, and for some reason you are not following Carson Druid, uh, you need to follow Carson Druid because you should do good things in your life that will make you feel good, and that, my friends, is one of them. My goodness gracious. Follow. I'll try this for the third time. But what am I saying? You're already following. He's amazing. Do it. Uh, yeah. So we're going to talk about Akira Kurosawa. 
So is it cool that I try to? I really like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm really, not gonna try to match it. Yeah, yeah. Akira Kurosawa. So it's Kira probably Kira not, it's probably not the way. It's probably not the way. Akira Kurosawa. Akira. I think it's Akira, right? Is it? I don't know. I know that the movie is. Well, that would seem to make sense. He's named after the movie, right? Yes. <laughs> He was born first. <laughs> then the movie came out thirty years later. Yeah, and they were like forty, so, whoa, 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 so sixty whoa. years later. Hey, you know that kid that we had, the the youngest of our eight, Steve Kurosawa. <laughs> we're gonna rename him because this movie came out and it's awesome. <laughs> it's like it's an honor. Yeah, Lobo confirmed. Weeb, I am a weeb. But, um, but this movie, like, you know, it's four hours, and yet it's one of those movies that it's Akira. It, oh. It's worth. It's worth it for what you get out of it because I here's here's the thing oh, about like I think it's fantastic. It's, I'm gonna go on record as I as thinking as saying that I think Seven Samurai whoa. is a very good film. Go ahead. It's it's interesting because you you know when when it comes to older movies, I I, I love old movies. I love movies pre 1950. Like I, I I really enjoy that stuff. But they're they're you like movies these days are just far more. Um, emotionally in tune where i feel like older movies have a hard time like legitimately making me feel like like tearing up and stuff like that yeah just through and it's all manipulation of modern techniques of like music and you know well there's a, there's a cinematic language that obviously has developed has developed and, and we are we are kind of versed in in a certain you know a vernacular of yeah like, exactly uh, like yeah. like we take we take cues yeah from and you know and yeah. this is one of the big ones absolutely and and so it's just so interesting because i watched it and i hadn't seen it in years and i watched it and i felt a deep emotional connection totally. to it by the end especially when spoiler you know a few of them don't make it and and you see when they cut to they're about to leave the village and they they pass by the hills, uh, the, the hills with mm -hmm. the swords on them where they're buried it's like a real moment like a real powerful moment totally. and i always know i'm watching an older movie that i'm just like i can't even imagine watching this yeah in 1954 with their stupid 1950s it's like oh is the train coming Idiots. is the train Dude, coming idiot. at me i don't understand yeah but it's just it's really impressive how how modern this movie is now yeah. because it's 1954 so it's 70 what's that years 70 years old are we doing math 1954 50 <sighs> 60 so it's 64 years old I'm just gonna wait 65 for years I'm gonna old wait for someone else to do it. yeah uh and and, it, and it's just it, it really does hold up with like modern storytelling techniques and stuff and it's because it developed them it like is. almost it, single-handedly yeah. like a large portion yeah. of this like the, just the you know the backstories of several characters and the building of the team and then the unifying and, yeah. and, and the villagers and learning their stories. And then, you know, it's just, I mean, yeah. I mean, you watch this. I mean, there are, there are movies that get credited with like being revolutions in the vocabulary of, of cinema, right? Like in terms of the visual vocabulary and, and the way that information is, uh, is, is communicated. And it's, it's, you know, it's this, it's Susan Cain. It's, it's yeah. the birth of a nation. It is, uh, you know, with all the baggage that but is it there. is yeah um but you watch this and you go oh oh yeah that's where spielberg got it yeah that's where oh, Luca, that's sure. where lucas got yeah. it like you go oh these things that like you know get and i'm not taking anything away from spielberg no it's just it's, i will continue trying <laughs> but but because that guy needs to get, be taken yeah, down a couple bag. few bags <laughs> uh no but but he because because you know, because he, he he's done what he's done, but like you watch this and go like, uh, oh, yeah, you learned from him. Yes, exactly. As like as as well you should. And they were so. And thank you for bringing that. And they were proud of it. They were like, absolutely. you know, when in the seventies when Kurosawa kind of fell out of fashion in in Japan, uh, and was uh, yeah. considered old fashioned, and and he but had he a hard still, time getting funding. Yeah. I mean, he tried to kill himself at one point. Like he tried to commit suicide. Goodness gracious. Uh, and then. He came to America. I think he was getting an honorary Oscar. He met yeah. Coppola and Lucas backstage. Right. They professed how big, like, their love for him and, and what a huge influence he had been on their careers yeah. and their storytelling. And when they found out, he didn't tell him because he's, you know, a very prideful 
and and noble you know it's just culturally he's right. just he, he didn't like ask for help or anything right but they found out that he was having money issues like getting his next movie funded, right Kate i remember Rusha. that yeah, 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 and yeah. they they went to 20th century fox and they were like we're, we'll produce it and if you fund it and then spielberg paid tribute by casting to shiro mifun in 1941 right. which what greater honor can there be in all, the, in all the annals of, of, of Spielberg. Oh, man. How can, how can you? He's like, I wonder, oh, I'm going to get you in there, Toshiro. I'm going to get you in there. I wonder what that must have been. Like, that must have hurt him so, so bad. Like, Spielberg on a deep level. Because, like, he knows that he messed up. He knew he was messing up as he was making it. He's yeah. talked openly about it. But, like, I forgot that Toshiro is in that movie. Yeah, so did I. And it's like, oh, you got to work with, like, one of the most legendary guys. And you, like, probably had a deep, deep respect for him. And then you know you just failed really bad on that. I need one. to give that another shot, but I also kind of feel like I don't need to give it another. I shot. I gave it two shots, yeah. and it's just it's it's, it's one not of, bad. It's just not funny. It's not funny, and it's just loud. Yeah, and the thing it's is annoying. It's, it's weird, kind of and I think we've movie. talked about this before. It's strange that it's strange to watch because you watch it and you go, "It's just a, it's a comedy without com without a lot of effective comedy, and it's chock full of funny people mm -hmm. uh, with a great director." And you go, "Oh." And and I think I think I think you, people are like oh Spielberg can't do comedy I go you're insane he does comedy constantly in his other films he does it wonderfully he does There's real life comedy. situational like exactly yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. I mean that's what it is it's he, like in Jurassic Park the Goonies I mean you, his I'm, movies well, are Goonies, very so funny but he can't he can't Donner. he has to weave it throughout yeah. the narrative of it's like drama incidental humor adventure. which is far better yes it's that, you know which is great like that it, it comes organically from the story like as as humor as, does from life yeah yeah unless you unless you're just someone who does bits constantly yeah which how exhausting how exhaust wait where are you going what are you looking at what's going on you, there's no one okay um <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i think he really mistook like <laughs> throwing more which is why it costs so much money is he, he yeah when, by the time the is it the tank goes through the paint factory <laughs> I was just like, I don't even remember. There, a tank goes through a, a paint factory, and I was just like, I am, I okay. I gotta rewatch it though, you know, because you know what's great about uh, about 1941. Is that the music? <laughs> that's really great it's great i'm very i'm gonna go listen to it on the way it's fantastic it's, it's john williams of course uh i thought it was incredibly disrespectful when he had mifunu's character sit on a whoopee cushion <laughs> did that even have i like i've no i can't even it did so many bumps. There's an actual whoopee cushion in this movie. I like that's that's like, that's, that's where that's where the that, movie is. I that's where is that true or no? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trashing. Uh, I but I, I feel like I feel like there was a, there was because I've said this week, like there was a time where I embarked on like trying to watch all the worst movies of all time or like mm -hmm. or like a, a, a number a number of them. And, uh, and then you're like Ishtar's awesome. Ishtar's awesome. Heaven's Gate, Heaven's is, Gate awesome. is awesome. Uh, there there were only a couple where I was like. Yeah, these are just yeah. Not, and unfortunately, it was The Wiz by my favorite director sitting on the uh, Yeah. Uh, 1941. Yeah. And uh, maybe Howard the Duck, where I was like, this is just weird. I, I could never even finish it. I was just like, I. It's not having enough Howard fun. The Duck isn't, Howard the Duck isn't boring. Howard the Duck is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. But it's kind of. But unfortunately, 1941 and The Wiz, The Wiz, for being as inveterately strange as it is, is boring. It's and I'm like, boring. how is it boring? How it did looks you boring. It's it's just boring. Yeah. Let's do a month of career destroying movies. We're definitely gonna do like worst yeah. movies of all time. I'd love to do movies at Tank Studios because there are a couple yeah, of them. Well, we already did. Well, I well, Seven Gate, Gate, Ishtar, Cutthroat Island, Cutthroat Island. That was one where I've I watched. Never seen that, Cutthroat Island. It's it's fine. It is one of the best pirate movies ever made. Yeah. Because there are not good pirate. I movies I always made. thought Cutthroat Island was Rob Roy. Because at, Block, huh, at Blockbuster, at Blockbuster, the covers were very similar. And like Matthew Dean kind of looks like uh, Liam Neeson in those two. Uh, I mean, like, not it, really, but like I'm those, dumb it, enough that oh, where oh. <laughs> I, uh, you know, associate myself. Look, three in the morning, I'm yeah. crying to myself, <laughs> playing this video game. I I want to watch it because I watched Rob Roy thinking I was like, as Frank Langella is an evil pirate script, and I was just like, this isn't bad, and I was like, this is what destroyed. Oh, people it. love Rob Roy. Yeah. 
that, I never saw that one. That's the that's the that's the uh, that's the deep impact to break. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Anyways, how do we get talking about this? Nineteen forty one. Nineteen forty one. Right. Which is the which is the beginning of all uh, sadness. Uh, I'm just kidding. Love, hate, burial. What's uh, okay? Well, hot dog and stuff. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We missed some stuff here. You can already see the talent Spielberg is amateur movies made as a kid. Absolutely. Surprising the only appearance. Yeah, yeah. Just like secular, except no ninjas and, and the samurais and peasants. Yep. So, uh, I can't believe they made a live action secular. That's what we're talking about. Yep. What's up, yep. Joey? The movie was t was more touching for me than Susan, Susan King. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, this movie, for, I, for, I, for sure. So, I think that's where you were headed, possibly. I and mean, I think you said it, actually. Because this, I, I, I teared up yeah. more than once and then utterly sobbed at one point. Which, which point? I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. Tell me. Because I, 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 it's been two weeks since I saw it, so I, tell me. Um, when, when, I just remember when that the, when the third bandit dies, I was just really connected to him. Which one? No, silent, no, silent. I'm just joking. Uh, when he goes, uh, I, I broke like the most down. badass one. And you're like, that's me. I, that I see me. myself in yeah. him. But no, I broke, I broke down when he, when he's holding the child and he goes, this baby is me. This is what happened. Oh, and I just yeah. went, I just went <sighs> like, yeah, I was like, ah, ah, ah. His, and then he was on camera going, ah, yeah. ah, ah, and I was like, hey, okay, we're doing this. Today. <laughs> His arc is so, so beautiful to watch just because Rob Boy's a he really does go good. from the reject to the one. I just, yeah, you really feel for him. All right, lots of love, Carson. Hey, you can love the slow reveal of understanding each samurai's purpose for participating in this final stand. Yeah, I just love all the characters. This movie is amazing. It's and I didn't great. know, I really truly didn't know what to expect. I didn't yeah. know whether to like. Did you think it was going to be dated, like kind of dry or. When I started looking up, when I started, because I somehow, like I, like I know, I know the names of like. 80% of his films for some reason. Yeah. Like, I just know them. Uh -huh. I And I know... But I know almost next to nothing about them. And I, like... Everyone, you know, Seven Samurai, you know. But, like... Uh, but I wouldn't... There are a lot of movies where I don't... That I don't... That I haven't seen that, like, I know a fair amount about. Mm -hmm. Like, enough to talk about, almost. Mm -hmm. And then, like, if you show me images, I'll be like, that is probably from this. This is probably from this. This is whatever. But, like... This one I I didn't really know, and then I started looking up images and stuff, and I was like, oh, uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. This is you know it's whatever, but it's you know whatever. And I don't know I I don't I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know whether to expect like a like a contemplative sort of character study with very subtle acting. I didn't know whether to because it because that's what I always when someone's like it's a great movie. I think of the movies that I think are great movies, and I go it's gonna be very measured and human and whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, it's you watch this and go, oh, this is it's an adventure, a film. great action adventure movie. Yes, it's what Spielberg made. Yes, uh, this is like, and it has some real pathos to it as well. Oh, a hundred percent. That's yeah. the thing where I go, like, it's like, yeah, it is like the sort of thing that Spielberg made, but like, it it's, it's deeper. It's a little, yeah. yeah. There's a little more. No, I'm not, and I'm not. It's I'm not, not a knock. It's not a knock. No. It's just a different kind of like. Yeah. This is more. I don't know. Raiders it's, doesn't have that. Extra yeah. level of subtext and 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 emotional weight to it. I love her watching this on a small laptop screen. I know I outed myself about that, but here's the thing: I only watched 14 minutes of it, uh, and I started it like at one in the morning, and then I finished it on this TV screen that you guys can all see. It's big. Uh, it's super big. It's, big. it's like 32 inches. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mifune is doing a lot of broad stuff and acting like a buffoon. It still makes the character sympathetic. It's great. He's a fantastic character. Every single one of these characters is so has so much depth, and and you know them all. It's like the thing each, is when like, each I watch one of these characters dies or, yeah. or, or gets wounded or whatever happens to these characters. When each one, because uh, a few die, each one yeah. you're just like, fuck. I mean, this is this is the this is on this sort of level. Like I understand why Star Wars is the worldwide phenomenon it is. This mm. is, but this is every bit and more like it's i think it's star wars is more um, i understand why more people know star wars and, and love star wars and it's and it's and it's, and it's more it's it's accessible uh in the united states uh more than this but it's this is every bit and more you know what i mean like yes. this is i this is a this is an adventure film an action film where I care about every single character, yeah. and they're instantly iconic. Yeah, like, and someone said something about this movie hitting the ground running, and you're absolutely right. Yeah, it's, it's a three and a half hour movie, and there's this is like you watch three and a half hour movies, and there there are three and a half hour movies where you go, 
cut that. Yeah, cut that. This movie, I'm sure. like, nah, man, all of it is it's in there. It's all in there, I'm and it's all it's put to good use. And it's always... What's so great about like the writing is how they ke- they deliver so much information about who the character is strictly through their actions. Like one of the first scenes is um, uh, I think his name is Takeshi uh, Shimura. He's like the lead guy who's always oh uh, like... Japanese Morgan Freeman. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna go with that. Look, is that what we're look, doing? Look, look at him, He's Japanese Morgan Freeman. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. And, and just watch him talk. And what he does and the way he, he's Japanese. He's wow. 100% Japanese Morgan Freeman. He so. kind of does that, that smile. He's calm yeah. 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 Yeah, he's great. And he does do this. He's amazing. And he, I, so I, I've been on like an, a Kurosawa kick. So I, I, I got around to seeing Akiru, which he's the lead in. Yeah. Which is about a man. In yeah. Like I, final I want to see him in everything. He's amazing. I want to see him as the president of Deep Impact. I want to uh. see him as, as Red in, uh, Shawshank. in Shawshank Redemption. Uh, no, but he's fantastic and I love him so, so yeah. much. He is Morgan Freeman, though. Let's yeah. be serious. That's okay. wild. Okay. When and what's amazing though is like when you yeah, first see him, how they introduce him, and, and how you get so much about so who much. his character is just by the way he handles the situation. And this is where the the great writing comes in is like put him in a situation where he has to deal with a hostage, uh, uh or uh, uh, a villain holding hostage a kid, holding a kid hostage. And what and he and he it shows his smarts because he's like I'm going to dress shave my head mm-hmm. I'm going to dress as a monk mm-hmm. to get close oh I forgot to the, that's why his head is shaved yeah, in the movie yeah and he's and, and he's this is because it's his this hair's is, growing in right 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 yeah that's so great and so he he and so that gets him close to, so that shows his wit mm-hmm. and then by the time he opens the door you know when he when he gets the guy it shows his quickness and his technique mm-hmm. and then when he when he leaves he just, he just, and he, he doesn't take anything and he just he just picks up his things and he walks off and he's yeah. just very like that shows uh how you know his honor and totally. just how he kind of how he pres- walks through life and, and it's and you get all that without talking about it totally it's great this movie is so there's so many things this is a movie where uh, this i mean what and and i mean, I mean the writing is 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 tremendous mm-hmm. I, there's so much that i want to say but but there's so much in, in this movie and this is where this is what makes it this is what makes him a master having seen one movie <laughs> but but this is what makes him a master is that it's the sort of movie that seems to unfold like everything that happens seems to come from itself everything that happens seems like it's naturally happening yeah doesn't feel plotted yeah. doesn't feel like it's a thing it's a thing where you don't you aren't acutely aware of the narrative function of something that's happening like I would, like the first one of the minutes, first and, things I, I noticed about this movie was how it started in Iraq and <laughs> and I was like this is great but Brian's going to have a real issue but this <laughs> it's true it's true though this is not a thing where I was like I know why you're doing this this is a thing this is a movie that kept me guessing and everything said hey 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 hey, hey. dude got some fishy ass lips you got him in black got him I wish I could hit a button it would just be like boom and just blow the whole thing up and be like roasted um but true but truly this is the sort of thing where i go everything just feels like it is unfolding before i don't see yeah. the strings because everything. because it's just anything like like it should be because you know carson's making a good point show don't tell which is you know that's that's a that's like one of the core like writing things for yeah. movies and yet it just seems to be a lost thing in modern era there's yeah. so much exposition in movies these days and what's great about this movie is like everything that they talk about is something that either just happened or is about to happen mm-hmm. or what's happening to them right now. Mm-hmm. It's not some like left field thing that is then, that, and that's why it feels so organic is yeah. it doesn't feel plot devicey at all where it's just like, Oh, he's introducing yeah. this, right. This thing. You don't here. go, this scene is here too. You go, Oh, this is happening now. And then something happens. And then by the end of it, something else happens. And yeah. You go, now that's the scene where that happened, but I did not know that was going to happen. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's incredible. Um, and he, I mean, and so much of the film is, is, is like that. The, the, the camera work, which is, uh, it's great. I mean, is, is just, I don't gold standard. I mean, it, it is and particularly it, 1954 when, when moving the camera, the way he yeah. moves it is not a, like a and, thing. And that's where you go. You see this, you see shots and you go, that's it. It's the Spielberg winner. Yeah. That's what it is. Like it's it starts in a wide. It come it comes, comes into in a club. two. He yeah. turns over. It turns into an over oh, his shoulder. So beautiful. And it's so 
It's so seamless. There's you a, don't notice it. You don't. And that is what it is. Yeah. And that is the soul. That is the soul of the craft of cinema. Yeah. It is everything... Because there's a, there's a shot in there that I was kind of because you know I'm kind of like paying attention paying, paying attention to stuff to kind of try to write it down, and and uh, and um, there is, gosh, there's a scene where where it keeps cutting between the, where where they're they're looking out. I think they're watching for samurai. I think where they're oh, yeah. and and it keeps like there's just people and then it keeps cutting between the two and it's it, you know you go like there's the Brody shot. Oh there's, yeah, there's, there's a shot from Jeff. Yeah, and then um and then the, there is that. There's that scene where I, there's that shot where I didn't realize how how incredible it was, how wonderfully blocked it was, uh, until the end of it, where he's where he comes in and he's like he's he's drunk. I oh my gosh, I howled with laughter, howled with laughter. But this is this is writing. I can't. Gosh darn, I want to say so much stuff. But after he gets clunked on the head and falls, yeah, I just lost my shit. Yeah, I was like that's. So amazing. They set that up so clearly. Yeah. That's what it is. It's this, this, the entire script, the, all the filmmaking and the writing is so clear and simple. It's not, it's not tons and tons and tons of choices. It's the right choices. It's the right choice. It, it's almost like core, like screenwriting 101 yeah. type stuff where it's like set it up in three and then get them with the joke on the third. Like there's a lot of just like but, boom, but, boom, boom. But it does it so masterfully that you're like, no, this is. Those those are core elements to yeah. screenwriting because they work. Yeah, and, it's and when so, you do them beautifully, it just it all flows together into and, and you just have a story. You don't have a film trying to tell a story. You just have this organic thing in front of you where you're fully it's invested. Happening. Yeah. And that's how you get these movies that feel like legends. Like this is an instant classic. This yeah. is inst every every single one of these characters to me is instantly. As memorable and iconic as Han Solo looks, yeah, Skywalker. for sure. I mean, they're all that. Like, um, and then, and then, and people, you know, people are always like, keep it, keep it simple, stupid. And what you do is you get people going, keep it simple. Okay, I'll do this thing, and you go like, no, nah, it doesn't work because it's, it's it, people are just like, it doesn't work because it's just simple. And I go, well, it's it's more than that. It's simple, but again, the right choices. It, at, at no simple is the hardest thing to do. It is, it is. But you and you also like and but if you if you put together simple. And, and, then, and, and then the genius, then you get because simple. Simple is the hardest thing to do when, when you're doing genius. when you're doing it the correct way. Yeah, it, it adds such a level of complexity on an emotional and thematic level beneath it. Even if the on the surface writing level on on the page, it may seem just very simple. But when you add in everything else that makes movies movies, yeah. is like the acting, the direction, the music, the cinematography, and you put it all together. It's just there are moments at moment after moment after moment in this movie where you're just like, well, shit. Yep. That's great. That's it. And like, that's not that's just the good. One. Like, that's yep. on its own. That's a great, great scene. Yeah. And and I can't like really like some of the shots in here are just like so iconic. It's it's beautiful. But so interwoven into the. Th I mean, like they they don't. Yeah. Nothing feels don't showy. Feel, you yeah. Know? And I, and like I was watching a thing and like and 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 these guys who do. Like Tony Zhao, I guess you say, mm -hmm. and and the, there's this other dude. I found another who is. I was like, oh, you're good. You know what you're saying, and you're saying it well. Uh, these guys who do these video essays love to compare like the old masters to like the Marvel movies. <laughs> like they love to go, like, yeah. love to crap on the Marvel movies. And like I say plenty about the Marvel movies. Mm -hmm. The Marvel movies are done whatever. But like, so I don't I don't want to trash the Marvel movies at all because they're not. It's not worth. They're not worth trashing, and they yep. do what they do very well. Yep. Um, but yeah, like you see shots in in. In, in and not just Marvel movies, just modern action blockbusters where like it goes dun dun bow and then the 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 shot begins and you go oh this is gonna be a look how cool this is shot and it yeah. continues and you go that's cool it looks like every other it looks like a lot of other shots I see in another in a lot of other movies that happen around this point um, in the fight or in the say whatever that are trying to make me believe that it's cool and it looks kind of cool and whatever yeah. The shots in, that are iconic in this film, like, are just, they fit in and they work with so, w w they work so well with everything and they're so integrated. It's hard to pick them out almost. I think it's because that, he storyboarded, and I, look, I know uh, most major movies it, yeah. involve storyboards in some way, shape, or form, but he storyboarded, He like, he was an art. he's a painter. Yep. Like, a very good painter. Mm -hmm. um, and he would storyboard himself mm -hmm. all his stuff. Yeah. So it it wasn't that he was having to just like he had it and then he drew it and he edited himself a lot. Yeah, right? yeah. I mean, he a fair amount. Yeah. 
now that I've like gone through half its catalog, yeah. I'm just like, oh, I fucking get what where that totally. all that esteem came from. Like yeah. it's been a treat. I'm gonna be real sad when it's over, but yeah. like it has been such a treat to like we, discuss. Like I still have Yo Jimbo to watch yeah. and uh, Hidden Fortress. I keep and, seeing images from Ron and being like, oh, I want to do. So that. I'm Curse halfway Ron. through that. I've got. I'll bring it over next time because I'm gonna finish it up tonight. So we, just, we could do two weeks on Curse very easily, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Post. Yeah. Uh, but Cage Musha is amazing. Like it is literally like, and I They're like the ten cr- movies that oh, you like. Those are the ones you got. to... Hidden, there are Criterion Hidden Fortress, uh, Dreams. Uh, I haven't seen uh, like, Dreams. I mean, it's yeah. just Ron. Uh, 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 what? Throne of Blood. Uh, Throne of Blood's great. Seven uh, Samurai. Yeah. Ro- Rashomon. We haven't even mentioned. I haven't even mentioned Rashomon yet. Yeah. Ikiru. Ikiru. Uh, high and high low. low. We're doing High and Low. I, mean, I still like that's what's that's so crazy. Nine and we haven't even taken a breath. High and Low is is a modern like kind of detective, you know, yeah. hostage type thing. It's like ransom, and it's it's my favorite kurosawa movie like yeah. by far and like that's talk and he's got this in his catalog I know. plus I other know. ones of this caliber I know. and i still think high and, low, high and low blew me away hey what's up mm7 like it, it, but i before i get too far from it but it, it's okay, i can't want to say this, this about, about, about the cinematography before i get too far from it but then i also want to talk about the writing because i want to talk about everything but yeah. but 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 uh, in that scene where he gets knocked down and he's in, and, I, and I just laugh my ass off because he's like, here comes a true samurai, thunk, yeah. wham, and I go, yeah. you set that up so well, and I didn't even realize you were setting it up. Yeah. Um, and uh, and because like until the moment that he falls, because as as he goes, here we go, here like, and I go, it's probably drunken tissue with Hune, and um, and at that point I go, oh. I felt it. I was like, oh, you've set this up as a thing. Because, like, I love it when he goes, should we give him the usual? I love it. Yeah. They're just oh, these, yeah. these great moments. And it's so funny. There's so much humor and humanity in this movie. Uh, and then... And Genuinely so, funny stuff. Until yeah. the moment that he strikes him, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. I do not know what's going to happen. And then he just fall, He drops... <laughs> And the way knees. he plays it after that, where he gets up, he's like, oh, yeah. oh it's amazing. His performance of this is so, like, like when he's, when they're in the village later in the film, and he's, like, trying to tame that, that really old horse, and yeah. then he gets on it, and he's like, I know what I'm doing, and blah, 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 and then he rides oh, off, so and, he goes, funny. and he goes behind the wall, and, comes out, and he comes out, I'm like, that horse. is so great, so and then brilliant. he's limping out. That's a chaplain routine. It is. It's so brilliant. It is it's so, so good. It, it's so, it's so, <laughs> but it just, but that's the thing, is that that doesn't feel, it's brilliantly funny, it's gr- it's grounded in, re- in the reality of the film, and it blends together with everything else. Yeah. You don't go, oh, that movie where the movie stopped being itself and did a gag. No, no, it just feels it's like life. All of it. Yeah, it's, yeah, and that's that's what a great movie, that's what a great film does. But that part where he, so he gets up, and he, he falls and he's drunk, and then he goes like, who hit me? Was it you? Yeah. And he gets yeah. up and then goes and he like and he lurches along that wooden railing, and goes boom, boom, and it follows him, and it's and then it close and it's close, and then he kind of slumps down and the camera comes in yeah. and then he slumps down into an over the shoulder where it's it's Morgan Freeman or it's Kambe looking at him just kind of like you know whatever yeah. over the shoulder with, with the rest of the samurai uh, and it's such a great shot and great great final frame that it, it wasn't until that frame that my body went oh that was a continuous I need to go back and watch that yeah. I looked at him and on this, only on the second time did I realize that the camera came in. Yeah. Because the the thing that fantastic cinematography like that does when it's married with a fantastic story and fantastic acting, fantastic writing, is it just mimics what your eye feels like it's doing. Yeah. Like I go, I didn't, I did, I didn't see the camera do do it. I just felt like I looked. At like him. I know exactly what you're talking about, and I don't remember. Yeah. But that's. Yeah, because that's amazing. Exactly. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. He's exaggerated laughing with his shoulders bouncing up. Yeah, and the way he walks and he's just like, it's just, it's crazy. This was my first because I started with this one because this is like the famous, like his most famous movie. Yeah. I actually no scratch that. I started with Rashomon and then I did this one, and with these one two and then especially on when I saw High and Low, I was just like, oh my god, I can't believe yeah, I have do. missed out on Tashiro Mifune for so long yeah because to me now having seen him in like throwing a blood and like a lot of other uh kurosawa movies i'm just like i can't remember if i told you but i described i maybe it's to kelsey i, I was just like he's like 
to me, he feels like Heath Ledger's performance in in The Dark Knight, in, in, strictly in terms of like unpredictability, sure, and how I'm just like yeah, you can do anything. how it's so interesting to watch because I just f don't know at any given moment. And he's making such interesting choices in any movie he's making. He's mm -hmm. always doing something that feels completely natural. Mm -hmm. He can go big, mm -hmm. and yet it still works. And then he'll do little things mm -hmm. like he's, you know, the yeah. scratching yeah, yeah, yeah. or, you know, just like a, the lick of his lips. Or... So he watched a video of lions in the wild. Really? His character. That does not surprise me. And somehow you see that I completely know. in I his know. performance. Crazy. So he's been a real revelation for me. And it's been another pleasure to just like start to just devour the movie season because he's so good. Yeah. I mean, it really, I just love, I mean, some of the. And Takeshi Shimura, like. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Kombe, yeah. That guy's great. This Gosh, guy. Yeah. This and guy's he's amazing. in a lot of stuff, correct? Yeah. yeah, he's the lead in Akira, which yeah. is wonderful. Yeah, and I, I it it uh it's so crazy how much is in this movie. Like what an experience it is. I mean yes, it's three and a half hours long, but there were just like there these these just the moments where Tishir Mifune is just like laughing and joking with a, a horde of children. And it's yeah. just the most charming thing in the world. It is I so go, charming. And I just go, I love this. And I love, and it's almost like, like it feels like, it feels like a captured, candid moment. It's almost like, it's almost like an outtake, you know? Like, yeah. It's like almost like someone was like, like took video of him screwing around with the kids and they put it in the, but like, that's, you know, it's just so great. And I what's interesting about, about his character is that. Beaming he, like a kid. Oh yeah. yeah. You, he's so boastful and he's so kind of surface level bloodlusty and very mm -hmm. proud of it mm -hmm. that you think without when the time comes maybe he'll be fearful or you know he he might be a coward or something yeah. to that effect or he'll have that moment and what i loved is because of what his backstory ends up being he's so passionate about defending these people yeah. that he's so brave yeah and when he put when towards the end i think he's like they're gonna come they're all going to come on, on this last day and we're going to let them in. And he comes out and he feels bad because he had been a little stubborn and he like was carrying the weight of one of the deaths of one of the other samurais. And when that final day comes and he just takes like six or seven I swords. love that line. And he just puts them yeah. in the mud and he yeah. sticks one sword in after another. And they're like, what are all these swords for? And what does he say? He goes, I can't kill five with just one blade. <laughs> and you go, just like, that is awesome. Yeah, that's and he says it so, but he says it so, it's it's the one, like that is such a badass line. And But what makes it work is that he's been such a boastful character. But when he says that, you know he means it. Yeah. And that comes from a real place. Oh, and all these, there are all these moments that are so badass. Because we haven't even talked about, uh, is it Kunzu? K I can't. Kuzo. K oh my God. The that guy's unbelievable. Oh! And then, because talk about these moments, like that actor's unbelievable. He comes back with the rifle and hands it to him. He goes, two down. Two, oh he yeah. Two more down, then sits down and just closes. And you're his just eye. like, you go, oh. oh. And then you also understand he's like, oh, that's where that quiet badass archetype comes yeah. from. Exactly. And, and he does it so well. And no so one's cool. done it better. Like these yeah. characters. Because I watch. Because I'm watching. Because like I'll be. I was watching it. And I was kind of like. And I was like. I was like, okay, Tishir Mifune is going to show up at some point. Like, and he's 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 a badass. I know he's a badass. Whatever. And blah blah blah. And I stopped at one point. And like looked it up because I, you know, I didn't know. I mean, I'd seen him before, but I didn't. It, and then I was like. He's the drunk guy. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is crazy. And so I was watching him, and uh, and I'm watching him. And I go, oh, I get it. I get. Oh, his character's great. And I go, oh, he's, he's Han Solo. He's Han Solo. He's like the yeah, archetype yeah, yeah, of Han Solo. Yeah. And then he goes further. And I go, no, 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 no. Han Solo is a light version of this. Yeah. Like this is awesome. Yeah. And he's just. He's truly unpredictable. He's yeah. I mean, yeah. he's such a live wire. And that that beautiful, that wonderful monologue that he has Ugh. about about how. I mean, where I mean, it, this is where he's it, resent his resentment of like 